watching stand. <laughs> what do you think? Is it nice or not nice? It's nice, nice. S A N D. <laughs> My name is Francine Harvey. I am the English teacher of the Targeted Group. They are a great group of 18 students from all over the world Korea, Burma, Indonesia, Iran, um, Vietnam, Cyprus and experiencing all the usual problems that, um, and challenges that newly arrived students have when they come to Australia, the homesickness, the cross-cultural problems, etc. And we've talked about those things and we've used them in story making. My role besides getting the group to really know each other was to help them to work well as a team. So there was a lot of group reading, a lot of group work, um, a lot of handing over leadership roles to the students and now they work really, really well as a team and, and support each other very much. Early in the project we decided to take the students to an Indonesian restaurant. That was a really good idea to just come together, eat Indonesian food, have a few speeches and talk about the project itself that was coming up. I think that was really nice to galvanise everybody and get us focused on the task ahead. I'm really looking forward to with you learning about Indonesia. Australia and Indonesia are becoming closer together and we want to try to make a good connection between our very close neighbours in our country so that we have more understanding of each other. This is the first page of our story. You will be learning a lot of English about how to write stories in your English class. And this is the wonderful Mr. Kazazi. You will start to learn studying about the Indonesian music. Is this the first time you've tried it? Yeah, the first time I've tried it. Delicious. First, I'm very very excited. The first dish uh, I eat is a spin roll. I really like it. Noodle. Yes, I really I really like noodle. Prabhu Tapa Agun measured the hair like this. She measured 10 centimeters, 15 centimeters. How long? One night when it was per moon. This project's really exciting because it brings together so many things. There's a really great um, learning aspect for our kids because our kids are learning English before they go to high school and a really wonderful tool for being able to play with language and to learn language is storytelling. It's something that we all share across cultures. The language that you can learn through narrative or storytelling is it's fantastic and it's something that really keeps the kids interested. Clarify, clarify and uh, if you don't know uh, some words you can uh, talk about it maybe another student knows. What does harm mean? H-A-R-M uh, It's a story about a beautiful woman and an ugly mon monkey slam. It has very big heart and very kindly and uh, he can be changed and uh, he, uh, she can be uh, love the monkey. It's very, it's very kind, it's very good. I would have a, a family they love each other and it is a lovely ending. Well, when as the last. It's about the younger sister is very kind and good yeah. heart. Yeah. But the elder sister is not like that. Yes, I really like the story because it teaches us uh, a lot of things and it's quite interesting. And I love magic, so I like the story. All, pretty much all the way through from the Indonesian restaurant visit, I've been developing their narrative skills. So Handy has been working with the students developing their music skills and Tanya has been working on their drama skills. About this project is very exciting, something new. I ever have this project before. About two countries, Indonesian and Australian. 
we come along really good together. <laughs> Common beat is like your heart beat. Music is one element that's really very important every way. The music brings the mood, brings the message to the audience. Wayang kulit made from a skin. The way the Indonesians are telling the story across to the audience through the puppets and then the students start to learning how to create a story in Indonesian way. I think that really excite, really very exciting. Yeah. Same, yeah. Then you play. You can play like that one here. Yeah. You take Mohammed. I will tell you. <laughs> if you don't sing properly, go to the office. You go to the office, huh? <laughs> and a lot about collaboration skills during this project and of course they've learned so much about writing um, and about incorporating another culture's writing style into their work. They've learned about Indonesian culture and food, um, religion, but mostly they've just been incorporating the, the storytelling, the music uh, into their own story stories. My job was also to connect the group with the um, Indonesian students through an online site and I chose Edmodo for that. It's a good way to uh, add content, to talk about things and chat about things and post questions and, and work etc. I'm writing about myself. For who? For the Indonesian students. students. Uh, I come from Cyprus. Yep. I, I want to write about my family. There are six people in my family. My father and my mother and two sisters and one brother. Then we chatted with the Indonesians online and then eventually they came in March and visited our school and that was a really special day. Thank you. 
my name is Kristen. I'm studying in Miss Pavilas. Um, when is an uh, Indonesian student is come from my school, as uh, we have a lot of fun, and um, Abdullah and me is welcome there to um, my school. You have drama, acting, and cry story, and we uh, interview them. My name is Pinky and uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am uh, 13 years old. Uh, I come from Bundai. And one sister, I have one sister uh, bigger than me. My name is Abdullah. When, when I meet the Indonesian, I was so happy and they introduced me about many traditional things. He has two sisters, one brother. I will talk about the school and how, how is it play school. My friend uh, put the uh, photo on the Facebook and uh, right, uh, he was right uh, on the, uh, my photo. Uh, he is my best friend. It was lovely because I had a good friend, like my brother. How did that make you feel? Happy. Very happy and lovely. You can take some Indonesian food, but here we have food from all over the world, and it's a meat. Uh, yes, that's meat and uh, uh, vegetable. I don't know this name. Okay, so it's a meat and vegetable in a spinach sauce. Uh, we both have something in common. Uh, for example, we both played a game uh, called uh, Minecraft. They gave me a lot of souvenirs. Went back home, I put it uh, on the wall. Elbows! Your elbows, your wrists. Your elbows, your wrists. So I'm Tanya Rohova. I'm one of the drama teachers here at Beverly Hills IEC. Um, I've been helping Miss Harvey's class um, do different activities and basically facilitate them. A group of Indonesian kids from Bandung came to Beverly Hills um, IEC in March and we did a series of different workshops, drama workshops and learning activities. So what we did in the beginning, we had a little warm-up, just um, them getting to know our kids. Once they got used to each other, um, we did a warm-up game, getting to the drama zone. <laughs> the Indonesian students put on a special performance up at the girls' high school, and the girls' high school came and watched as well. Uh, they did a little bit of a, an Indonesian storytelling dance and song, and it was wonderful. They had all the costume, and they were really good actors, and, and got into it. It was a, it was a fantastic day. <laughs> The students uh, were broken up into groups of half Beverly Hills IEC and half Indonesian groups with one leader for each group. So we discussed some themes and ideas like misunderstandings, going to a new place, that sort of thing. The students chose a setting, for example the beach, uh, and on the, in the desert, props, some archetypes as well, like hero, enemy, that kind of thing. So we got them to do a little picture of it and then create a story from that. them out for the for the rest of the groups and those stories formed the basis of stories that we later developed into a script and
to our stories for the play. From the Indonesian side, they also developed uh, the story. From the story that we joint created in Beverly Hills when they visited us, they also took that story home and made their own um, development of that story. So we've both come away with different stories that we will be developing into a play. Flight 317 will be boarding in 10 minutes. I'd like you to get your bags and get on the plane. to uh, extend the story and add more to it and create uh, what is now our group performance uh, for the class. So it's, this progress has been um, really essential for uh, both the classes uh, learning and understanding of drama but also um, how to work together as a team and um, it's been great because we've been able to use the different skills and strengths from all the students in the class, uh, whether it's art, drama, music, um, script, you know, writing, computers as well. And um, we've been able to so far develop this amazing piece and it's still in the progress, but it is becoming, um, it's molding together um, from their different skills. So this uh, project uh, with the Indonesian students and uh, the Australian students have become real success and I can't wait to see what happens by the end of it. I've really enjoyed being part of this project and I've really enjoyed working collaboratively with my peers both at Beverly Hills and in Indonesia and I've enjoyed getting to know a little bit about the system in Indonesia and to connect uh, our students together. I think the students have, have really benefited. Anything that engages them to speak more and use different language in different contexts is always a good thing for English learners. Um, so this has forced them to uh, remove themselves from the everyday English and really extend the vocabulary and extend the purpose and context. In this project it's been wonderful because we've been able to bring together our language learning aspects of storytelling that we need to teach for the kids for English with cultural knowledge that they're getting through learning about storytelling in Indonesian ways and with Indonesian students and that's been a really wonderful part that we've had Indonesian students that we've been working with online and Indonesian students who came actually came to the school to visit with us and our kids and they work together to build this story which we're now putting together. I will guide our Beverly Hills students to come up and collect one of the gifts for our visitors and if you could please present the gifts to our visitors. They've had a great time, we've all had a great time, it's been a huge success.